Alright, so today we're going to be doing a hard drop Amara build. At the end of May 2023, I've made a video where I'm using the spark plug and hard drop on the same build. But this is only hard drop and with like better gear, I think. So let's do it. For the gear, we have a Crater MP5 for movement speed, even though I keep forgetting about it. Garden Angel with the wall 35 deal 75% bonus cryo damage because this is going to be a terror setup. Face Puncher, ideally times 14 with the melee attacks have a 25% chance to apply terror to yourself. And then you add free radical for second wins. For once I'm not doing the Ember Spurt for second wins, you know, the free radical is also usable on, actually usable on flying enemies, unlike the Ember Spurt. Triple Vagabond Revolter with Action Seal Styronoid. Phase Zerker with plus 5 clarity for big health regen. If we're like really overwhelmed, even though we'll, we'll still die. But if you're like, but if there are no enemies and you're low HP, then you'll get your health back up to full pretty quickly. And we have Splash Damage, Splash Damage, Splash Damage Radiates, and Action Skill Damage. The Hard Drop Static Charge. I've been told before that the hard drop or the static shot increases the hard drop's damage. Maybe I'm gonna try to find that. Yeah, the static charge does increase the hard drop's damage. Like, I feel like it gives it a bonus element, but I'm gonna need to check that, like, without the revolter active. Mesmer with AC radiation. I actually kind of forgot that the AC elements on the grenade don't apply to weapons. Or uh, they only apply to weapons. They don't apply to anything else, so I won't have any radiation damage on my hard drop balls. You won't be seeing any rat explosions in this build, sadly. Well, unless you, like, dot an enemy with, like, a garden angel, a radical, then you can hard drop and you can have a really satisfying fiery radiation explosion. Oh, uh, we also have a snow to victory rush. Ideally, you want to have double movement speed and area of effect damage. But I, I just got this like at the end of June 2023 from a chest in Creek DLC. Yes. But I kind of forgot to change its passives to double movement speed and aerial effect damage. Ruby's Wrath, low level for rocket jumping. Ideally, you want to use a level plumage, but the Ruby's Wrath is only one pellet less. And it really doesn't make a difference, but if you want to maximize rocket jumping, then plumage is the way to go. Captain's launch pad, you don't really need it because you're not shooting, this is a long gun build. And a shooter if you want to do some shooting. Alright, for orange tree, for the skill tree, for orange tree we're doing 3 points to steady hands for increased weapon handling and accuracy. This doesn't matter, but we need to spade on skill tree to get down to first level expression. Again, it only works for... First level expression only works for guns, grenades and shields. So it doesn't work for the hard drop, but I guess it does increase the face punchers damage and the free radicals damage. Infusion for having corrosive on our radical shots. Tempest for increased elemental damage and more shock damage. Illuminated fist for bonus melee damage for our face puncher. Two points into wildfire to spray on the skill tree and to have some dot spreading. 3 points into Indiscriminate for ricocheting projectiles so you can have funny ties that bind Indiscriminate good and angel shots if you want to do that. Deep well for increased mag size with elemental weapons so the free radical. 1 point into sustainment for life steal. 4 points into conflux to have random dots and also to spec down to forceful expression. And for our action skill we're going to be doing ties that bind. For green tree, doing three points into personal space, and for and two points into clarity to, to get down to blight target for the corrosive element. Yeah, this is also going to be kind of a melee mix. So we're doing five points into trusting yourself. Well, actually, this is kind of like a melee mix, but with only body and mind. If you wanna use, wait, trusting yourself, five points for a bonus. Reload to speed, charge speed, the weapon swap speed. 5 points into heavy rain for increased projectile speed and splash damage. 
3 points to go with the floor for bonus gun damage and movement speed. If we happen to freeze an enemy with Terra Cryo, unleash the rainbow to deal bonus damage with splash damage or melee to frozen enemies. Again, if, if we happen to freeze an enemy with uh, Terra Cryo, 5 points to burn, burn, burn both ends. If we're taking damage, then we can we get stacks of burn both ends, which increases our damage. And this stacks up to 15 and 5% damage per stack, which means we get plus 75% bonus damage with 15 stacks. So this is gonna be also a kind of melee mix, but with only body and mind as the melee skill. Yeah, we're doing 3 points into body and blood. Why do I keep saying body and mind? Body and mind for splash damage on our melees. Free the soul for cryo splinters after we kill a frozen enemy. And then clear the mind to ignore elemental resistances, cause you know, the hard drop is an element which is shit for endgame. Like, fire is genuinely shit in this game. I can't say genuine, genu, genuinely, genu, genu, genuinely shit for endgame because the majority of the endgame is armored or shield. So we need to ignore that resistance by the way clear the mind. And then expedite as pretty much Omara's ideal. As a skill augment. Five, point in five points into the harm for bonus access skill damage. It increases the attacks that binds change damage. If you wanna do some guardian angel attacks that bind indiscriminate. Three points into fast hands for wheel speed, swap speed, and mode switch speed. One point into violent tapestry to spec down to two points into alacrity. Because, you know, these are basically leftover points. From specking all of this, and so we're doing one point into to ascend to get to ascendant to buff our expedite. So for how long am I explaining? Seven minutes. For some reason, I thought that this was that I'm I'm explaining for like ten minutes. All right. You can see we have him high of 36. I feel like it should have been 30. Oh wait, no, it's 20%. I no, never mind. So through the face puncher up mobs to get terror. You can grasp and then slam. Even though you can't share the hot drops damage to other enemies with Titan Bind, it's nice to just have. Ties that bind. Vault Hunter dead. Yeah, but on most these these splash radius is more satisfying. Cause you know you can have poor craft promotion procs for double splash radius. I need to figure out the internal cooldown on that. It's not a chance, it's an internal cooldown. You can see that this is way better than what I posted in May 2023. Okay, first down. You yeah, maybe for the next terror build I'll actually load the terror the terror sound effects maybe I'll just load the mod which removes terror sound effects it's kinda annoying to hear all the time oh sh I just downed myself with the mesmer no come here yeah I, I don't think I have the revolter wait huh he's shocked at it hold on Let's, let's not hold the... That's... Shock damage! So the hard drop does increase... The fire charge does increase hard drop's damage. Yeah, now, now, I, now I've seen it myself. Now I can confirm. Mesmer everybody, because I want to have... A big boy kill on Kraken. Let me just... Oh, bear, 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 bear. 
Oh, no. Right, let's go. You can have a two shot or a two slam. I'm, I, li I literally have infinite lifesteal. Kinda. How do they go down? Excuse me. No cool nades, no cool shields. No, you can't do a double Valkyrie skip with the hard drop. Just before you ask. And regarding the Rogueland video, which is gonna be up on Friday, if the video gets a hundred more than a hundred views in less than an hour, then I'll make more BL2 videos. How about that? Deal? Because it's gonna mean that people wanna see me playing BL2 after all that time. When, when I'm always saying that BO2 is my least favorite game in the franchise, then people probably want me want me to see playing it. You, you can kind of, you know, get stuck in, the va in, a, in a Valkyrie and then have all the hardware balls explode in one place. <laughs> that doesn't sound right when you take it out of context. Guitar, jump down. Yeah, you can kinda, kinda slam under the Valkyrie and have all the explosions happen. But then that means you don't get, put, you pretty much don't get a, a bonus from the Guardian Angel. Boom. Cool. And then cryo heavy, obviously. Later. What is a slam? <laughs> Imagine if you could increase the hard drops accuracy. That'd be so funny. Ouch. Okay, now I've gotta finish it with face puncher because of Sigdrifa doing the bullshit. Shock attack, which, like, what's the point? It, it's basically just a frame drop, like, it's just a frame dropper. Also, I'm gonna need to load the mod for removing Amara's blank passive slot. You know, when you sometimes have two passives on a legendary Amara class mod, then there, there's a mod which prevents getting only two passives on the class mod. And then we can just now let's double confirm the hard drop. Getting the bonus element. Oh, I've actually had actually had the revolter on because of the generator over here, which has blown up by the Malwan guy. Let's get to the bridge faster. I'll prepare for like going down a lot in this part, as always. Can you be mesmered or like aggro on other non mesmered enemies? Or, or aggro on mesmered enemies, actually? Oh, that was beautiful. I'm going to rank 1039. I wonder when I'll get to 2000. Definitely like 20 years, probably. Fire heavy. Great. Oh, let's, let's do the funny indiscriminate. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it again. Oh. 
Okay, I need Mesmer. Can you have a second win on these? No, you can't. For some reason, I thought you can second win on the shock heavy spark plugs. Wait, wait free article, not face puncher. That's literally why I have the free article. It's for second winning and not the fucking face puncher. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just left left him out on Mesmer. Mesmer, Mesmer. Oh, couldn't hit. Now imagine right here uh, the hard drop could share damage with Titan Bind. Nope. Yeah, see. This is where it's getting frustrating. Slam! Hey, more Mesmer. <laughs> I keep downing myself. I need to lower the Mesmer's level to be level 1, because I think it's like level 30 something. 33! Why do I have... Such a high low le su such a high low level. Such a high level mesmer. Nope, mesmer, mesmer. It's not holy guy an angel. Heal. So I'm so good at this game. Come here. I'ma grasp you. I'ma self grasp you. Mau pussy. Oh boy. Oh yes. Oh, fire heavy. That's perfect. Fire heavy. Rip my terror cryo. You can feel I still have huge damage. Yeah, so basically, if I'm not doing, um, if AC radiation doesn't work for the hot drop, I've almost said hot spring, then I guess I should just do wall terrified with increased damage and fire rate instead. So that's like an alter alternative annoying for the Mesmer, if you want to do that. I probably have like another safe somewhere which has A3 radiation on a non gun build. <laughs> and I always think that I have red explosions easily, but no. I sort of always start off by mesmering the first two guys. And the way for Wotan to spawn mobs. He's unaggroed, by the way. That's a rare thing to happen. Okay, now we have. Now we're ignoring elemental resistances. You know, hard drop actually deals like somewhat real damage. It's still fire on. No, it doesn't matter actually. No. Okay, there are too many. It's getting out of hand. Oh no, it's getting out of hand. There are too many mobs. Bro, let's just. Well, I'm he very heavily dotted. Okay, not anymore. Yeah, this is the part where I can't hot drop water, so I've got a tight that bind of an over sphere, or like a death sphere, and then just tight that bind in his criminal guardian angel. Um, and then here's the part where I can actually hot drop him. One more. Oh, he was so low. I quickly mesmer. Let's wait for the badass commando. Where is he? Oh, it's not here. Wotan! Focus! They are literally like. Finally! Can I? No. It's blocked on. Wait, 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 w
What's happening? Oh, there's Kraken, that's why. That's what's happening. I'm not even... Did I... How did I kill the top half? Excuse me? Ouch, okay. Oh, oh no. Let me just, just get a final blow with the hard drop. Ouch, ouch, and that's a back-to-back. Let's, let's just get a back-to-back. Back. <laughs> back-to-back. Let's get a final blow with the hard drop. Let's not risk it. No, let's risk it. Fuck it. No clue to mind because there are no mobs. Now, actually, slamming, I think, helps with dodging his explosive discs. Destructive spinner. Let's check the loot right now, maybe. <laughs> During the fight. Um, needle gun, black hole. Rear distributor. Spark plug rocket boots. I, I, that was shock damage in AoE. I saw that. Can I... Wait. Destroy the leg streamer. Cool. Come here. Come here, Wotan's brain. I'm gonna hard drop you. Boom. Hey, what do we have? Rear distributor, moonfire, raging bear. Um, Julius, that's a complex route. And then there's also some stuff I didn't check yet. Rear distributor, anti freeze, slot damage, hyperion crit. You can, like, kinda use. It also has plus 3 violent momentum. Splash and Hyperion Crit, you can use it with like a slow hand. I, I, I need to think of like Splash Hyperions. Slow hand. <laughs> Hold on, wait. This can be good for like a Fear Monger, Garden Angel for shooting, Iceburger, and the slow hand. The pro 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 proprietary license. I still can say proprietary properly. It's kind of bad, so I'm not not gonna list it. It's also, and also the handsome jackhammer. I don't. I can't remember if it can crit or not. I need to check someday. Uh, oh, that's uh, that's also my next pain. And an elementalist. Twenty two, twenty two and a half minutes. What? So anyway, see you tomorrow with the with the video. When, when I am checking out the Roguelands mod, which has released on Saturday, last week. So I'm gonna be checking with the mod out, I'm gonna give a review on it, I'm gonna say if it's good or not, you'll see. See you tomorrow, bye bye. Oh, that's the wrong button. I changed my end recording button to number 5, because yesterday, as of recording this video, it's... March second, March second, March March sixth. When I try, when I tried to record the unplayed video yesterday, and when I downed myself on accident with the double four sum, because I actually got one. Then I accidentally pressed the button when I was trying to find a mob with cheat engine, and the numpad keys like numpad two, four, six, eight, are the button which which are used to te teleport. Like, like a chunk in Minecraft. So I have it on numpad 5 now, for safety purposes. Hey, anyways, again, see you tomorrow, bye bye.